So how is it John starts eight? Uh, sir. 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 <laughs> What's the plan today, or what's the what's the scoop? We're gonna go video some farmers chopping grass. Looking forward to it. Well, it's grass. Oh come on, Willis. The camera's on. I know. I know you're being a wee bit shy. So we were down a couple of days ago, two days ago, and we filmed a bit of a walk around with a farmer because John had put out a call to get farmers who were lifting their own grass to get in touch. So we're going down to Oma, and our first up is the Patterson family. How did you find our first kind of tour with those guys? Good, like, but I mean, all their cows were out, so it was pretty much walking us around them big sheds, like. Yeah, but I guess that's going to be the case for lots of them. It's nice that, you know, the cows are just in the field behind them, so we got to go around and have a look at the cows. I actually quite liked the fact that there was no cows in because... You put the drone in. Was it there? I think so. Why, why, why are you panicking about the drone? I didn't, I didn't, I had the door. Why are you panicking about the drone? Well, just, you know, it's, you always need a good drone. If so, like, imagine forgetting the drone, like, you just don't do those things, Willis. Well, I wasn't bare thinking about it. No. I wasn't bare um, thinking about it. So I, I, I kind of, I... I like the fact that the cows weren't in because you get to see the setup and the run sometimes when you're in there and it's packed out with cows and the sheds, you don't get to see wee quirky things. So um, I, I quite I quite like that. Well, the two farms were totally different, like complete opposites. You know. I love the Pattersons in that they have a real family bond and a family setup there. It's almost like two farms in one. So you have the brother looking after the cows and the welfare of the cows, the mum and dad who do the milking, uh -huh. and the brother who looks after the hens. Aye, so the brothers are clued in, they have the man and dad doing all the work. Uh, <laughs> aye, and they were saying that their, their mum's a nurse. She had retired, she's went back to nursing because of the pandemic and what's going on and kind of I guess a lot of nurses have done that, of kind of ones who have retired, and I have family members who are nurses who had retired and have gone back into, back into work and putting themselves at risk. So, yeah. big up, yeah, yeah, my mother in law. So, big up to anyone who's a NHS worker, whether they've been retired and back to work or guys out volunteering or everyone, they're doing an unbelievable job. Uh, Yes, so that's the Pattersons. Then Andrew, how, where do we start talking about that guy? Know. Honestly, don't know. I'm gonna put a bet on. Right, I reckon that guy will be a multi-millionaire in five years' time, and if he's not already a multi-millionaire, but he yeah. will design something that no one else has thought about, and and it'll he'll just he'll 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 sell it globally. Five years' time, potentially, but. Definitely, definitely at some stage because um, everybody will be like, uh, the farm flex was at him video first whenever he was just fucking about and playing about with the electronics. And whenever he was nobody. Yeah. Didn't even know about electronics. Yeah. We were there. Yeah. No, he, but he's fascinating. He, he has this, uh, he, he was chatting to me and he said to me, look, the way he sees it, if there's a problem, there's always a solution. And I was like, yeah, but there doesn't need to, you don't need to look for problems. I was saying, at what point do you say, I don't, you know, it works, it operates, it's a good job. Uh -huh. He's always thinking about in the back of his head, how can I make this more efficient? How can I make this better? We just talked about before the cameras were on, the amount of data that we collected at the two farms, a colossal amount. I, I don't even want to think about when I pull it into an editing suite or you pull it into an editing suite and go, why did we talk for four hours there? Yeah. Um, but the amount of data that he's collecting, it's frightening. Like even you see his graphs and all. Yeah, and he's, cool. I, he's using programs that farmers are supposed to be, well, farmers are using, and then he's pulling them into his own manufactured made program because, because the programs that are out there for farmers aren't good enough. Yeah. You know? Um, 
Oh, he's... he's... Graham Fox, only uh, unbelievable. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Fair play to him. Um, it'll be good to see. What's his setup? What did he have? He had... Uh, was it 120 cows or something? Yeah. And what's he running today? Can you remember? Tractor ways. Yes. Uh, I know he's the Massey's, but what... What's he cutting with? What's he chopping with? 10X. 10X. Yeah, 10X. Yeah, yes. Couple of Massey's mowing, I think. Yes, mowing was Pottinger mowers. Should have went McTripples, mate. I'd have to. If you're going to do it, do it right. Like, yeah. you know, he spent all that money on all his wee gadgets and his electronics. Just buy triple mowers, mate. McTribbles is the way. McTribbles. McTribbles. If you had a job to do today, Willis, one job, what would it be out of... Whether it be on a trailer, whether it be on the harvester, or would it be on the pusher? The scooper. The scooper. The scooper duper. Fill a couple of load in the harvester until I get angry, and then I'd go on a trailer for the rest of the day and just. Okay, so that's two jobs, Wallace. Oh, yeah. If you had one job. One job. <laughs> one job. Ah, oh, good. Paint me the picture, like. 120 acres. Uh huh. County down. A lot of hills. Right. You're chopping in a. In a class harvester, so class. Right. And you have a fleet of Massey's. Fleet of Massey's. What scooper? You have a, a what scooper could we go for? JCB. I'm not a big lover of the JCB. Are you not? No. I thought you. I just thought you were searching for names there. No. I forgot no. what you call them. No. You're in a Massey and you're using a buck rig. I'd probably. If he says a county down and it's steep, you know, it sounds like a busy day for the harvester man. Yep. So he'll be flat out all day. So I'd probably, I'd probably go on a trailer. Take the easy option? Aye. Aye. Um, do you know what job I'd hate to do? Be the scooper man. Why? Because you, you think about it like you're, most pits here, it's different in America. Because you have a massive pit and kind of you're going up and you're, you know, it's kind of there's like a rotation, there's like a system. Here it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, you know, it's just, it would be monotonous, like, it would be so boring. You have the crack with the boys out in the field if you're on a trailer. If you're in the harvester, then you just sit like you're the king, the king uh -huh. mate, and just slobber at people. And just tell you people know, off and stuff. Tell people off, laugh at some of the state of the boys that are in, you know, Giving you a hand. Yeah. What do you do if you're if you're on the scooper, mate? Uh, Nothing but raging all day. Pretty much. Raging the way the boys had uh, dumped their piles. Raging the way uh, the pits way too tight. Raging. Just you just be raging. I raging that there's no room to yes. reverse back and get a good scoop at the load. Yes. Yes. I just raging all day. You would be raging, like. Yeah. And then if you have two trailers waiting, raging, you know, ripping it, the whole day ripping Aye, it. And sit, sitting, waiting for trailers, Aye. raging. And, <laughs> you know? Yes. Oh, look at that, Willis. Yeah. Definitely a contractor. Oh, aye. Ah, uh, yeah. Big way of going. <laughs> so no, no scooping for you? No scooping, mate. Wouldn't do it. If it was in America, that's the first job I'd take. Is it? Scooper. Biggest tractor, luxury, comfortable, you know? I'd be all on for the harvester driving in America, like. No, it's, most of the fields were flat, Willis. You'd no. be fed up after two rows. I don't know. Come on. No. That's why you are the way you are. Not right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it would, it would, it would, it would, it would, oh, I'd go stir crazy. Sure. I'd go stir crazy. How would you? Sure, the pit's the same, the pit's... You know, you push one load, mate, you go right in the circle, mate, you push the next load. Mate, you, you are right building a mountain. At the end of the day, you stand on top of that mountain as the sun's going down, smoking a cigar, just thinking, life's great, like. And you're in the, like, look at that case you were in, the John Deere I was in. Yeah. Mate, unbelievable. When was 
the last time you drove a tractor? When was the last time I drove a tractor? Hardly would have been America. No, the time you beat John on. Ah yes, the race. yes. When I reti when I retired from driving tractors, <laughs> that's the last time I beat him. When I retired from driving tractors, that's the last time I I uh, beat John. And he he sent me a message about the new 78 got this fixed and done that wee bit and oh she's she's a ticket now she's the yoke or something he sent me she's the yoke john sent me she's the yoke <laughs> so i just sent him one back saying you will not get me out of retirement good luck with her <laughs> champion <laughs> <laughs> done <laughs> ripping it he's absolutely ripping it he sold that first seven eight because i beat him because you beat him 100 percent, 100 percent well, every time you seen the tractor, you were just like, John, do you remember I raced you and beat you? And he just couldn't hack that. Oh, I see. You know, if James is at it in this blog, you better roll that footage of me beating him, James. <laughs> you better play it over and over on loop. <laughs> Best day of my life. Yeah. Whoa. Come on, Gary! Yee-haw! Come on! Oh, Johnny! You're so much I'm just, I'm just looking behind me to see where the guys are. Come on, you Gary! I'm going to the car to back out. Come on! Come on! Here we go. Big B started in 13. Yes! Yes! Get in! Ah, oh, the GS is better than 78. Do you know what? I'm never going to race again. That's me done. <laughs> I'm just going to retire the ultimate champion. I left you two for dead. Morning. What's the story? Oh, we're ready to start here anytime. Great stuff. Uh, what field are you doing first, or where? One across the road, just. Right. Okay. Perfect. Well, we'll uh, we'll get set up, and then kind of. Are we trying to go across the field first? Uh, is the horse or guy there? No. Uh, we'll just follow the horse, man. Right. Well, we're just leaving now, Richard, and then he, Ian, he's coming in. Hey? He's going to me in now. We're going to me in now, and Ian, he's bringing the 290 down. They want to follow her too. Aye. So we have two loads left if you're not free yet. Oh, I'm free. I have a cow called there. All right, what had you? A black bull. All right, right. And we're just going, <laughs> going to go down to the bottom, bottom of our lane now. Right. Looking forward to it? What? That's all right, don't, don't panic. What is, uh, what's your dad talking to you about there? Telling you where to leave it or? No, to tell this man that he needs to bring this forward a bit. Right, okay. Too high. We'll soon be at the start. Mount Everest? Uh, Aye. No, it's just a, if he keeps going again, he's going to end up... Falling off the other side? No, it's going to end up... Aye. Like that? Yes. So sure you'll never get it right. If you need a harvester man, Brian can uh, drive the harvester. Mm. Can I? <laughs> we'll just let Alan have it. Just, just, like, I like, I like, yeah, I like your confidence there, will I? <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to the most about today? Um, just having a bit of crack and being being out. Well, I've missed the, like I said earlier on, I've missed the social interaction, I've missed the the crack, and yes things are different and we do things differently in terms of I've got my my gel my precautions I've got we'll keep our distance with the all that but actually just being out just you know there's a lot to be said about being out and about and having that interaction with people Oh my goodness me. What do you want to do first? Ah, I suppose. Get the camera set up, Kimball. Yeah. 
but Gimbal. Many acres here. Ah, uh, there's probably about roughly maybe three left here. There's eight there. Two and a half there. Okay. There's another six down the road. Right, okay. Then that Depending on how we get on, there may be a wee bit more to mow down, but okay. we'll have to wait to see how things go on. And the pit? And the pit, though. Yes. I hey, Wolves. I think I gave him the video this last week, maybe, and I think I'm going to rate three at the end of the video. Right, okay. Aye, so it's a clear, a clear run to eight. Right, that's it. You get the other side here. Yep. The fort. What are we doing, Millis? Well, the boys are in for lunch there, so we thought it was a good time to look for the GoPro that we lost. Uh, who stuck it out? Who stuck a GoPro on? I put it on. Taking full responsibility, mate? Well, I mean, like, all for, you have to do everything to get the shot, like, you know? Yes, but in fairness, you just said to me, whatever you do, don't tell John it was you, or don't tell John it was me. We'll both take a blame. Uh -huh. He's going to let me take a blame. He says, John's easier on you than he is on me. Well, I thought he was getting the sack, but look at this, up a lane, and the boy said to us, I seen it going into it, I seen it coming up a hill, but I didn't see it in the field. So we were scooting along looking at no, this. No, 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 we're down there, and we're searching at the, at the low hanging tree there. Yes. And we're, we're about to knock on your man's door and just tell him, right, where's a GoPro? I know you have it. But <laughs> Fran said, come on up the road a wee bit, and I'll wee bit to a sea. So, I uh, told Willis up the road a wee bit, Willis, and we'll check going into the field because sometimes when they're going in, there's always a bump getting in the gate in the gateway or something. And I thought maybe I could have fell off. Look at this bad boy. We have not touched that. That was sitting there, and the good thing is we'll have the footage of it. So if someone's lifted it and yeah. set it down, we'll also have the footage of it. Because hold on, I didn't check the screen. on though. screens, uh, screens alright. It's definitely got a whack or some sort of tree, anyway. Oh, aye. Uh, was he spreading slurry with it there? It's a bit dirty or tea, like. No, but I tell you what, that is. What's the chances that we were going to give up, like? No, that was a good job. That was a good job. Now. I've saved this bacon, like, that's. That's it's pretty uh, much kept me in a job. Oh, mate. Fast forward there. Can you fast forward? There's an hour and a half of it. Who is the mystery? Look, here we go, here the we go. mystery lifter. <laughs> This is this is the hedge we were searching on. Oh, that first one. Yeah. Two tight on us. Oh, so here's it here. Oh, Smith. clean up. Oh, she's doing well. She's just sticking it right in like. How close was he to that hedge? Like he was rubbing up the whole way along. Sorry, right, somebody lifted it. Okay. Oh. Yeah! The Phantom Lifter! <laughs> the Phantom Lifter! <laughs> I just need to throw it down oh, there. Oh, oh, check it again. Oh, is it worth money? Oh, is this thing on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unreal, unreal. What do you think of that? 
So we've just arrived around to Andrew Wright's farm. We were here on Tuesday, today's now Thursday, coming back to get all the silage footage. We've done a walk around tour for our uh, stock yards and he told us he was lifting on Thursday. So we thought, brilliant, happy days. We'll come back, we'll get all the footage of that. We'll lace it over the top of all the chat and everything else. Pulled into the yard and Willis commented on how Johnny, because Johnny's organized all this, how great that Johnny is at organizing stuff. What happened with us? Talk me through as we drove in, what happened? We well, drove in, we came across the dad driving about, and I was like, should he not be drawing in or pushing up or- Doing something. Doing something, like apart from driving about and pick up, and I says, well, all in then. And I says, he laughed and said, yeah. And I says, pit covered too. And he says, yeah. And I says, right, good one, you know. He was being deadly serious. <laughs> he was being serious. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. His silage footage isn't gonna be that good. So, well, to be fair, it doesn't look like there's a whole pile in it, like, you know, so. Ah, he said I think it was 16 acres or something. Aye, 16 acres, sure. The good thing to see if Johnny's bacon is he's cutting in three weeks' time, so we'll have to come back down to that, but I think Johnny should pay us directly for coming back down yeah. to get that, because ultimately it's his fault, like. <laughs> Pretty much. He's cutting Italian rye in three weeks, so we'll come back down. He also said that, what was out carting today? 1090 on a 18 foot down lay, so that would have been nice too. Thanks, Johnny. But uh, no, what a good day out of the end, sir. I know it was good. It was uh, well, it was a big bit hurry for a bit, like. Aye, uh, yeah, well. If that GoPro hadn't hadn't it turned up, like, I wouldn't have liked the phone, John. Like, aye, like John, we missed the grass in one place, and uh, we've lost the GoPro Seven. The new GoPro that he just bought. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've lost it, like. So, nah, it wouldn't have been good. But thankfully, we found a GoPro, and we'll come back in three weeks and get whatever we need. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy seeing that Massey out today. Me? Yeah. 290? Right. Oh, delighted. Right. Delighted. Lethal, like. Oh, my. It's all about the older kit, like. Bit of noise, bit of driving in them. You know, these boys just tipping about in their T7 200s, you know, just pressing buttons and cruising along and just, you know, not getting any bumps or anything. Right. But your man, he's. Ho you it's know. a hook and a gears. Yeah. Hook and a gears and all I think's good crack, like, you yeah. know. But he said now, <laughs> he was sweating when he came out, like, and he only oh. felt two loads, like. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, I think we should all go back and just, you're not allowed bigger than a 100 horsepower tractor. Keep it old school. Yeah. I agree, I agree. The sound of it, we had asked him, I had said to him, you're not gonna stick that, you're not gonna stick that tractor, put a trailer on that tractor and draw in. I hadn't even finished, you know, asking him as a joke, like the line, and I heard the thing starting up, like <laughs> he hooked that on in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Bombing down the lane, just yeah. clean out, just flying straight out and straight down the lane. Oh, he, did, he didn't take too much convincing now to oh. get the 298 like. No. It's a nice yoke there, Willis. You need to bring your welder up the next time we're coming up. Yeah. Could you fix her? Don't want to bother my head. Buy a new one. 290. 290 was lethal. Yeah. Lethal. What do you make of the pumice? Hi, she's all right, isn't she? I think she's nice. She's good looking, like. I was saying to you when we pulled in there about, I'm, I've yet to see one that isn't, isn't all faded. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, look at the, the massy. You maybe can't see it from there. Even that one, you know, still massy red. Like, you know, didn't come out of the box like that. Like, no. I don't know, Brian. You're the car man. Like, you should know about painting stuff. Ah, right, but it's like. The old BM, the old BM, the old BM, see the old 3 Series, uh, the red BMs, they were like out the colour faded on them wide. But you like. look at the bonnet and the mud guards and the roof, they're all different colours, different shades. Like. Oh, but that's a nice couple of trailers, isn't it? Like? I don't know what it's like to pull, like to pull different trailers. Like Johnny was talking about, ah, oh, she's a good trailer, you know, a good yoke to pull. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that means. What's a nice looking trailer for a farmer's outfit like? It's square like all the other trailers was. It's nice and blue and white. Oh, it's blue, I like the colour, yes. Nice tyres and... Yes. Oh, well, fair enough. But Andrew's no uh, ordinary farmer like. No, he's not. Five years I'm giving him, multi-millionaire, oh, multi-millionaire, yeah. I'm telling you. Right, let's get back up the road and give Johnny a bit of stick. Yeah, let's do it.